Hello YouTube, it's me here again. Morris from Morris's Mini Motors. Today we have a Evolution 7 cylinder. This one is the 77cc. It's been converted to spark ignition uh, slash gas. Uh, this one is a custom engine from America. Uh, he sent together with the engine a FG84 carb. I just fit it directly to my uh, carb adapter that I make. Um, engine is brand new, first run. Um, uh, <coughs> just took it out the box, put the ignition in, did the timing, fuel up, and two, three flip of the prop, and it's where she goes. I didn't have to touch the needle on the carb, really good combo. I'm using a uh, four bolt pattern. They find a normally uh, 50 or uh, 55 cc gas to stroke engines. Um, the prop I'm running is a 23 by 10 prop. Idles a thousand. I like to keep it around 1200 because the engine is still brand new. Top up here I'm seeing at the moment is 6100. I'm sure you will get a bit more or depends on the application of the engine you might want to dial it back a bit uh, by putting a bigger prop a 24 by 10 or even a 23 by 14 so you could keep the rpm range um, just slide over uh, 5500 and so far i'm happy with this setup runs really good this one is a kilo standard uh, collector ring exhaust Makes the engine sound even much better than what it is. Um, what else? The fuel I'm using is um, it's 20 to 1 mix. I use uh, the highest octane fuel you could get, um, 97 octane, and the uh, red line two stroke racing oil. That's what I use, but you could use whatever oil you feel comfortable with. Um, there will be some links in the description of this video where you find. Um, it links to the parts, the uh, magnet ring, sensor bracket, ignition, and a WT carburetor conversion as well. Um, I do have another engine of my own where I will test with the WT carburetor and see what the difference is with this uh, 84 carb and see if there's any big uh, performance difference on it. And the ignition you could see it's a one unit uh, RCXL brand as well I do uh, carry the CH ignition brand as well so it's just your choice what you want to choose okay gonna give it a fire up and see how it goes <laughs>
as you can see, um, I apologize so you couldn't get the top RPM while it was in um, full throttle open. Engine is moving so much air around. Um, I don't know how the video will sound if you will get the the song that I'm hearing myself. I don't know if it will come through properly because I'm using my iPhone for the video. And uh, I couldn't get it on the tripod facing the uh, the RPM reader so you could see exactly. But what I'm getting is 6100 on the top RPM, idles 1200, that's why I set it at. You could get it down to 1000 on the idle. Um, transition is really good. I didn't have to do any fiddle with the uh, needles on this uh, carb. It's a normal like a uh, glow style setup. If you could see down in there, this uh, that one you could see there. That's the high screw needle, and that's the low end screw needle inside the chopper arm itself. That's why I say a really good combination. Um, if you want to go ahead and purchase an FG and get an adapter from me, it's your choice. Or you could get my WT carb kit. And it fit directly on, same um, same idea. Um, but I'll be doing another video with the WT carb setup and see what's the differences on that as well. And you get your, that's why I said, your four bolt pattern. Use your normal jig, um, DA50 or DLE55 and uh, your magnet ring, sensor brackets, all nicely anodized, one nice unit, you have your sensor coming out there, one sensor, so all the work has been done, no complication really, and you have your one box unit, just like that, seven leads coming out, um, so I think that is it then, um, so I will say stay tuned for more great videos to come. Alright then, cheers, bye.